What made me want to? His yeah. Brother. It's because I seen him doing it, dude. And I fucking wanted it. I seen what that shit was about, like, from him doing it, dude. Like, going over, hanging out with his buddies, dude. I'm, like, 12 years old. Fucking smoking cigarettes and fucking <laughs> drinking beer and shit. Fucking hanging out with him. And he's rapping with all his buddies. Same shit we're doing and shit. Like, that shit was sick to me, dude. Like, I was, I wanted that shit for the rest of my life, dude. Yeah. But, so, why don't you write? Well, how come you only freestyle? Uh... The whole time I've rapped, I wrote, especially like, when I recorded something, it was always written when I first started. And this was about three or four years ago, maybe even more, dude, what, what would you say? I was like about oh, five, thirteen when me and Rag started doing this shit. So yeah, about, about seven years? Holy shit, dude. Damn, you're old, you're an old fuck. <laughs> I'm, 20, I'm 21 years old, but I wrote everything. And then I started meeting different people doing things. I'm still writing. But lately, as of a few months ago, dude, like, I figure if I'm going to take this serious, I have to I have to perfect freestyle. Somebody's going to be like, oh, you make music. Well, let me hear something. I want to be able to just sh throw something at them, dude. Like, fucking point to that soda pop right there and go off of that and just and fucking blow their minds, dude. So I think I want to be able to freestyle and write, but right now I'm kind of going why don't you do, uh, how'd you meet Mason? Uh, through you, right? Yeah. This is my little brother, he goes by Fax. Uh, he started recording with this kid, he's 15 years old, his name's Mason, we Mason. <laughs> uh, they were making music, I heard someone's like, dude, that's fucking pretty good. And, and I realized the talent in him. Yeah, and so I wanted to work with him. And I, and I know over time, dude, things are just gonna go up, like period. Through him, I met this kid Twitch, dude. This is, this is the guy behind the scenes, behind the camera. You don't always see this. Show your face, Twitch. You gotta show. Uh, all right, all right. You gotta say what's up to the camera, dude. What's up, dudes? <laughs> I met this dude through Mason. This motherfucker got talent, too. Fuck what you say. Tell him about my Tourette's, bro. <laughs> no, we call him Twitch, and the only way you'll know about that is if you heard his last sentence, or you know about us. <laughs> or I let you know. Song. <laughs> so listen closely. Everything I say happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, right? good. Um, how do you plan on getting more fan base? You know, getting more people listen to you. You know, because you, you're not gonna get big unless you have people listening to you. I mean, you have the talent for it, but you need to get people. Dude, it's it's so hard right now. Everybody's everybody wants to rap, dude. It seems yeah. like like everybody, dude. Everybody wants to do it, but there's a difference between wanting to do it and actually. Half, like uh, I feel like I have to kind of like it's weird like yeah you're like oh it's just this fucking white kid and he wants to be a gangster rapper like that's not it at all like if you think that then you should just go kill yourself dude because I'm trying to share good times with people that I've had and I want to relate to everybody dude so I plan on getting fans by relating to them as much as possible and staying current with everything that's going on dude I just want real feel good music dude that's that's a fucking movement dude yeah. FGM <laughs> All right. What's your favorite drink? <laughs> My favorite drink? Uh, dude, iced tea. Iced, iced tea. tea? Yes. BP. Arnold Palmer? Yeah. Well, that's good too. But iced tea in general, dude. How's your uh, wife? How does she? Uh, does she like support you on your rapping? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. She's behind your back all the time. All the time. What about like when 50 heads come up here and shit? Oh, I mean, bitching. come on. <laughs> if you're in a relationship, then you know how that shit goes. That's all I'm gonna say, dude. If you're in a relationship, you know how that shit goes. So, uh, ladies, I'm, I'm, I got the chain of ball. <laughs> <laughs>